Hello, happy new video day. Today I have my Fairy Loot and Luma Crate unboxing. So, um, I received my Luma Crate book and my Fairy Loot box yesterday and today, so I thought why the hell not just crack on and open them in one video? Before we go ahead with this video, um, I'm in a bit of a filming rut, shall we say, so I wonder how long this video is actually going to last. To be honest, it could end up being privated, not going to lie. So if anybody has any ideas for um, filming, any ideas for videos, please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see from me. I have a reading little project coming up that I'm hoping to start soon. I'm considering doing a trial chapter with my Illumicrate books and then a one with my Fairy Loot books because I have like two years worth of books to read. It's ridiculous. But without further ado, we're just going to get on with the opening. We'll go with Illumicrate first and then we'll do the full box with Fairy Loot. So I am a little bit pushed for time. I've decided to film this on my lunch hour. <laughs> on my lunch hour, my lunch half hour. Um, I haven't had my lunch yet and in the role that I'm in, I'm quite... Um, restricted for time sometimes so this is going to be very very fun <laughs> we shall see how we get on i'm just attacking the box with some scissors because you know safety safety first safety first no how are we all i hope we're all doing well um yeah there's been no videos for me for a while other than vlogs and i do have a reading vlog to edit i just didn't want to do reading vlog and then reading vlog and then probably another reading vlog to be honest so yeah just a bit of a chatty catch up as well we have actually booked to go to edinburgh in a couple of weeks time if you've got any recommendations we're staying just up from grass market so if anyone's got any recommendations for bookshops place to eat that kind of thing please let me know we've done edinburgh a few times but um we're always on the lookout for new places so get rid of that first off we have the pin now i don't normally open the pins because I just don't. <laughs> I, just, I just don't because it, a lot of people are interested in them um, and I'd rather keep them in as good condition as possible. So the book itself, we have The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. This one has been a one that's been on my radar for a while and I held off buying it um, until this came out but from what I can tell there isn't much change to the cover. There is some pattern on the sprayed edges um but other than that there's no real change from what i can see unless i take this off and there's pretty things on the dust jacket or underneath on the naked hardcover i'm holding out hope for that because lately i've been feeling a little bit disheartened with some of the additions and some of the things from Illumicrate and fairy and whatnot it's a book <laughs> i'm feeling very much like oh the author letters in there as well and a signed book play um but i'm feeling very much like the amount that I pay, I pay, I think it's £22 including postage for the book only subscription and Fairy Loot is about 32 I think it is now and that's including postage too but I dropped out of book only because the content from the boxes wasn't there for me and now I'm starting to feel that the books themselves I'd rather just buy the book like 7 99 book and save myself some money i'm literally holding out for aurora's end that's how i feel at the minute i'm holding out for aurora's end and i know some of the books this year are really exciting some of them not so much so i'm considering ending my illumicrate subscription i don't know um but together they will change the fate of an empire it has got a pretty little like emblem on the front so that's quite nice but it feels very bland compared to other editions they've had if you know what I mean I mean it's not exciting me as much as I thought it would let's just put it that way but Tasha Suri is the author of Empire of the Sand um, and I got that from I think it was was it Kestrel I may be wrong but I did get that gifted to me um, and this one is the first in the Burning Kingdoms but it's been on my radar for quite a while I am excited to read it as much as my face doesn't look it. I'm just a little bit disappointed that not much more was done with the overall standard. Okay, on to Fairy Loot. So, the thing with Fairy Loot is that I waited for quite a while to get off their subscription list. Um, and I was very, very, very excited. The additions have been stunning that I've gotten from them so far. Um, I've been... I remember, I think it's since January, February. They do really stunning additions. Uh, the only thing... <laughs> I do appreciate why they do it, but I really bloody hate them. So, let's see what we've got. First of all, we don't have the card. Normally the card's resting on top, but we don't have that. 
So let's quickly get rid of this because Rebecca's on time constraint and she's just dawdling at this point and it's ridiculous. Ooh, okay, so we have a tumbler. I spotted the straw. There's the straw for the said tumbler. There's said tumbler. So let's just put this down and have a look. Those things are going everywhere and I have a house view tomorrow, so this is gonna be fun. Ooh. From now until the darkness claims us by Sarah J. It's a quote from Sarah J. Mass. And there's dragons on it. Is this? This has got to be Throne of Glass or um, Akatar inspired. Surely. Surely it has to be. But look at that. It's so pretty. I don't think it's. I don't. Is it Crescent City inspired? Oh, it might be Crescent City inspired because of the dragons. Ooh, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Um. It's hard to get a good sort of look at it in the camera because it's see-through, obviously. I really, really like that. Okay, so I am just trashing this room. What next have we got? What next have we got? Next we've got, what is, what is this? Oh, it's a wooden phone stand. That just reminds me of Animal Crossing. I know it's not Animal Crossing inspired. There's a wooden phone stand in here. So, I do, ooh, okay. And this is how you do a wooden phone stand. Oh, look at that, that's so pretty. Okay, so this has a um, a quote from John Fuego on saying, behold, what has arrived. I'm assuming this is from Ray Bearer. I do need to read that. I do have it on my TBR, but this is just so pretty. And then that's obviously the slot for the back of it. I was about to say that I do have a phone stand that I don't use. I don't tend to use them, but now that I sit on the floor to do my hair and use my bookshelf as a, a, a rest for my phone, I might need to, but that is very, very pretty and I do very like that very much. Um, whether I'll actually get use out of it though is another thing. Next up we have a Serpent and Dove coaster set, another book on my TBR. Why are we not surprised? Oh, okay. Now I kind of want to read it based off these, this coaster. This coaster is the top one. Look at that. I just, I do want to read it. It fits in with the cover as well, which is what I like. So we've got this guy, this guy, this girly and this girly okay so i am kind of intrigued now i do want to read it a little bit more um especially because i know it's a trilogy and i think the third one comes out this year but i do like them quite a lot actually i'm quite impressed they're good quality as well i believe that i would probably use those for something probably not to put drinks on because i don't want to ruin them but something next up we have roll the dice reading list game okay this could be interesting okay so <laughs> it's got a little pouch look at it it's, it's cute it's got a little pouch look at the pouch look okay so inside it's got a um notepad i'm just gonna leave it in it's got a notepad with the numbers 1 to 20 on why do i feel like this is g inspired i feel like this is very much g inspired g and cody I feel like they've done this. They work for Fairy Loot. I feel like it's them that's done this. And oh, that's stunning. <gasps> Look at that. I don't think you'll be able to see it. No, it's not gonna focus. It's absolutely stunning. It's a little gold and purple dice with the numbers one to 20 on it. I like that a lot. I think I'm gonna have to try and use the Fairy Loot dice for a, a, a TBR challenge, but also I still do my top trumps. So maybe we can mix it up and incorporate it. That's exciting. I really like that actually. Um. Didn't think I'd get that excited over a dice. But, <laughs> okay, we then have the tarot cards in the bottom. And, okay, yes, I remember what the book is now. We have this. Is this, is this Descendant? No, this is Crave inspired. It has to be from that flower at the top. There's uh, an art piece there. Never read Crave. I feel like it's this generation's Twilight with Smut. Um, <laughs> might have to read it. And then we have the Fairy Loot Tarot cards. I'm gonna keep these two on side because I know that Leanne is taking the ones that I currently have. So I'm gonna ask her if she wants these ones and pop them all together for her. And then we have the spoiler card. This is Spellcraft is May's theme. So we have the Tumblr is inspired by Throne of Glass. I'm very, very pleased about that. No one fi figuring that one out. I was quite proud of myself figuring that out. Actually, that makes sense. Couldn't think of where I'm up to in the series. Um, but anyway, we then have the wooden phone stand, which came from Ray Bearer. Obviously the foiled coasters from uh, Serpent Dove, TBR game. It's brought to you by Team Fairy Loot. Um, so they, they tell you how to do the game. They, you pick 20 books, you roll the dice, whatever the dice lands on is the book you read. It's very straightforward. The art print is from Crave, Crave, blah, 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 Crave. And the 
tarot cards are from Serpent and Dove. So it is time for the book. I have been spoiled for the book already. I mean, I mean, I did just read the spoiler card, but I have been spoiled for the book already. And I thought that, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I didn't quite enjoy what I seen. I didn't like what I seen. So maybe seeing it in person, I will have a different sort of opinion on it. Da, 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 da. Okay, I see a very angry man on on this artwork behind me. Um, this is Witches Steeped in Gold um, by Shannon. Is it Shannon or Keenan? Smart. Um, it's upside down as well and back to front. There you go. That's the right way. Not that you can tell, but that's the right way to do it. Um, we have the author letter and obviously the bookmark. The bookmark and the um, spoiler card do resonate a lot with the original cover which is very, very pretty. We also have the fairy scoop and the author letter, but this was the guy that I seen as I took out the book. Terrifying. I got a shock, okay? Um, so we'll keep these together. But this is the book. It's Witches Steeped in Gold. It's got like a, is it Aztec or am I incorrect? Um, kind of like special edition cover. This is the sprayed edges. It goes all the way around the stenciled edges. I do like this. I like this, but I think it would look nicer on the naked cover, which it does actually look a lot better. So you've got, this is on the naked cover and that is the reverse of the jacket um, on the back cover. So I do prefer it like that. I'd rather, I think the only way it could have been different and better is if they'd put the title on here in some sort of special edition sort of adaptation on the original one. We also have the artwork on the back of the jacket. Um, it is very pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just not my taste. Um, <laughs> do you like this cover? Let me know if you like this cover down below. Um, you'll be able to see the difference. I'll put a picture of Witches Steeped in Gold Appear somewhere. You'll be able to see the difference between the two. Um, but let me know what you think of both the Illumicrate and the Fairy Loot books. Am I right in thinking the way I'm thinking about Illumicrate? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, going back to the start of the video, let me know what you think I should film next, whether it's a try a chapter, whether it's a reading vlog. Do you actually like my reading vlogs? Let me know in the comments down below. And leave me a green emoji because it's very green. If you open that description box, you'll find a link to all my social media channels. You can go find me on other platforms to say hi, and I shall speak to you all soon. Bye.